Yes, I think there is a dramatic Professor Henrik Schaffer is on the left. On the right is a robot mimicking his every move. It's a little bit like science fiction, only without the fiction part. We call it science faction. The robot is called Geminoid DK. It is designed to help us understand how we relate to technology. By doing something as dramatic or as extreme as this, it really makes people think about the role of technology in their everyday life. There are three Geminoid robots in the world, and DK is the first with a non-Japanese character. It's now helping Professor Schaffe at Aalborg University in Denmark to study human-robot interaction and how far we're prepared to let that relationship go. Imagine, for instance, you have someone like this sitting at a kindergarten telling stories. Now, people usually object to this idea. And then I ask them, are you happy with a TV or a DVD set doing the same thing? And they typically say, oh, yeah. So I'm interested in what, what makes up the difference here. The difference, of course, is that Geminoid DK looks and moves like a person, unlike the more familiar technology with which we interact on a daily basis. Remember the first time you saw an ATM machine? For most people, that was appalling. We used to have the human contact when we needed to get money out of the bank. But in general, I think people are happy to accept that we have choices. So for some cases, I want to go in the bank and have the conversation. At other times, I'm perfectly happy with the ATM in the street. Or the robotic waiter at a restaurant. Or the robotic receptionist. Or the storytelling machine in the kindergarten. Or the visiting friend at a hospital bedside. There are examples of robots that we're quite happy to interact with. This is Paro, a robotic baby seal that studies have shown has a positive therapeutic effect on the emotional lives of some older people who enjoy holding and stroking the device. And we will know more soon. DK will be introduced to unsuspecting shoppers in Denmark this summer. And the professor is also considering using the robot to dismiss a member of staff to see how they respond. Man's or machines in humanity to man. Stuart McDill, Reuters, Denmark.